he's very unimpressed. He does not approve of my smothering abilities. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the update number one for the project pan that I'm doing with my best friend Courtney here on YouTube called the Thank You Next Project Pan. This project was created by me, but I really wanted to do it with her because we just, we love collabing with each other. It only made sense. Um, Thank You Next was an idea that I had after hearing Ariana Grande's song where I thought it'd be cool to get some products that we really like and we took something from and we just don't want to purchase it in the future. Therefore, thank you, next. So I thought it was cute. I thought it was clever. But either way, this is our first update. We chose four products to make progress on, whether it be to hit a goal or to use up completely. I am wearing all four of these products on my face today, so you'll be able to kind of see how they look, I guess. Um, <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a second. So the first product I had was a single eyeshadow that I had taken out of my BH Cosmetics and Shan XO palette. They don't have names, but it was just like the like peachy-ish matte cream shade. I did already have pan when we started, but the pan has definitely expanded and I'm super excited. I do use this to set my eye primer um, or to use to like blend out transition shades. So this is what it looks like now. And as you can see, I am really moving along with getting that pan to the edge. What I will say about this eyeshadow too is that I've been using it um, with a larger fluffy brush. So it's not just centered in one spot. I actually have pretty thin product around the edges completely. So I'm really, really excited to use this up completely. And I think I can probably actually finally do it. The next product that I have is an older one. Um, you'll know by the brand in a second how old it is. This is by NYC. This is the Smooth Skin Bronzer in the shade Sunny. This was my holy, holy, holy grail bronzer for like two straight years. I love this bronzer and it was like $3 or something ridiculous. Um, I believe NYC has pulled out of the United States. I'm not 100% sure, but I have so many other bronzers that I really like now that this one, um, I do still love it, but I'm just not gonna go searching like crazy to find it. Anyway, this is what it looks like now. So I had a teeny bit of pan before. My goal in this was to um, basically extend the pan to the inner circle of the sun pattern that's printed on this, which you probably can't see, but I can tell you right now, it's like right here. So I would like to clear the pan out right in that center zone, and I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job, I think. This is fairly pigmented. It's not like super sheer and it's not super pigmented. I am wearing it today, like all over the perimeter of my face. It does give a really beautiful finish, um, but I just like other things better. And the last two products are lip products. Now I will say lip products are, they are my bane. I can never ever go through lip products. It's really, really hard for me to, um, just because I have so many and I love to switch them out constantly. I hate wearing the same lip product over and over again. And especially this one, because it's very, very hard to wear. It's not your typical like everyday kind of color. Um, so I will talk about the lipstick first. This is by Bite Beauty. It is a mini, but these are so intensely pigmented and creamy and just beautiful that you don't need a lot to cover your lips, which is why it's taking me so long to use it up. Um, and this one's in the shade Thistle, which is this like really slightly purple toned grayish deep taupe. It's very pretty and it goes very, very well with cooler toned eye looks. This is my favorite look to wear when I want to use this lipstick is like a really dark olivey silvery green eye paired with this. It's just, oh, it's yummy. Um, and obviously with the white silver hair, it, it just all kind of ties together. You've probably seen this look on me multiple times in my videos because I really do like it. Um, anyway, keep going, Bebbles. Um, this is the line where we were at before on the cap. And if I lower it down to the plastic piece, you can actually see that I have made progress. Not a lot. I'm gonna have to use it a lot more. But then again, like I said, I've only worn this a handful of times this past month. So I think if I really focus on it and use it more often, I can probably get this done if I really dedicate myself. Um, I'm thinking of trying to pair this with different like lip liners to give it more of a warmer undertone so it's not so dark on the lips, but I can't say that I mind it. I actually really, really like it. And finally, the last product that I have in this project is a lip gloss, and this is by Urban Decay. This is the gloss in the shade SPL, which looks like this. So it's like a pink tone gloss, but I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It has like little pink and purple and blue glitters in it. And I think it pairs really, really well with this lipstick. So as you can see, I'm wearing it today again. Um, it gives a really beautiful glossy finish, but it also gives it, I don't know, just a different undertone. So I can play around with it a little bit. If I add a little more, if I add a little less, I can kind of tweak it and it's not as tedious to wear the same lip color every single day. So that is that. But this one, I had some like patchiness showing in the bottle on the last update. But I mean, if you look really close, let's see if the camera can get it to focus here. Um, if you look really close, you can see like there's a nice big patch 
of open window right here. Um, the bottom's actually fairly cleaned out. So all along the bottom, this light spot is all cleared out. Um, yeah, I'm not ready to take the stopper out yet, but I mean, we're, we're moving along with this. I do wear this by itself when I just need something on my lips throughout the day too. So I really, I know for sure I'll be able to finish this within the next month. Oh, I probably should have told you the dates, huh? This started last month and it's going to be going until the first day of spring. So March 21st. So I got about a month left, a little bit more than a month. And uh, I think we'll be able to do it.